What's up guys? So I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel regarding the new DJI Tello drone. So this is DJI's real break into the toy grade market. This is a true toy grade drone here that they have coming in at a $99 price point. Now I'm not going to bore you with the specs because you can read them for yourself. They're all here on the website. Uh, you know, it's got DJI's flight tech. It's gonna have, uh, have a controller. You know, I don't know if it's being sold separately or not. This is, what you, this is what you get in the box. Doesn't look like you get a controller in the box. So right at the gate, you're gonna be controlling this with your phone. Advertising a 13 minute flight time, a thousand meter image transmission. Uh, 720p video. It's uh, Intel's got their own little stake in this supposedly because it's got an Intel processor and that's how they're able to have that five megapixel of video footage. So this is my opinion about this. And uh, before before I get into this, and also people are gonna be like, "Oh man, you're gonna be complaining about that," but just just hear me out, okay? So. What shocks me about this drone is that they chose to put what's called a coreless brushed motor on this thing. All right, these are these silver cans here for those who don't know. I think most who watch my channel uh, are already familiar with brushed motors, but there are some of you who might see this or not. So these are known as coreless brushed motors. Um, there's tons and tons of toy grade models that use these. And also tiny whoopers, these little micro drones, the micro drones that we all love. Uh, they use these, these kinds of motors. They're wonderful for uh, these little micro quads, but the thing about a coreless brush motor is that it just doesn't have that good of a lifetime. Okay, at best best case scenario for a coreless brushed motor, you're probably going to get like four hours total of full runtime. Now, if we go back to the Tello, the Tello is claiming that it has 13 minutes of flight time per battery. Okay. So if we assume, you know, 240 minutes fits into say like four hours, divide that up by 13, because you get 13, uh, 13 minutes per, per flight. It looks like you're only gonna get like 18 flights out of this thing. Doesn't really sound like a lot, does it? And that's, that might even be best case scenario, depending on whatever quality of these motors. And I'm guessing they're probably not the best quality because they already had to squeeze that $99 into uh, the Intel chip, into uh, all the software and everything else. And uh, who knows about the battery and whatnot. So I'm really thinking that the motors are probably not the best. I also don't see anything here regarding uh, a replacement process for the motors you know maybe I'm just thinking about this in way too much in terms of like a hobby aspect like if you look at the the tiny whoops if you look at stuff like that there's these little sockets here that wire into the uh, brush motors and they're really really easy to replace they're really easy to replace because they die, they die all the time, and you have to replace them if, if you use them long enough. But it looks like I don't, I don't see anywhere that you can easily just plug in a new uh, brushed motor on this. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below. But I don't, I don't see it. I don't even see a wire going from this arm to here. You know, maybe there's an easy way of doing it. I sure hope there is because it would really stink if you got this and you know you were only able to get 240 minutes of flight time or rather you know four hours of total flight time which again would only equate to 18 minutes uh, I mean I'm sorry 18 flights total the other thing is this product is really not a DJI product except it's in brand name and they had a hand in with the software. This thing is made by 
uh, Shenzhen Rise Technology Co. And it even says it right here. It says it right there. This product is manufactured by Shenzhen Rise Technology Co. And for after sales service, please contact support at uh, riserrobotics.com. Uh, I've never heard of them before. Their support might be good. Their support might be bad. But it's going to be a toss-up. It really is going to be a toss-up. You're not going to get DJI's support, which uh, is of questionable quality anyway. It's not like DJI had the best support in the world, so I don't know. Maybe this is actually a good thing that this company is running it. But just keep that in mind that once you get this, DJI is going to be like, you got to go through Rise Arrow because uh, we're, not, we're, we're not the ones you need to talk to about this drone if you have an issue with it. No, I'm really surprised that they didn't go with brushless. I know that they were trying to make this a drone for kids. They're trying to make it, you know, safe and all that. So they thought that brushless would maybe be a bit much. But I, I, it would have been so cool if they had made this thing brushless. I really would have loved to see that. So what do you guys think? Do you think I'm just complaining too much, or uh, would you would you would you get something like this? Maybe maybe that's the whole idea. You get this, you fly it for a while, the motors burn out, and you're like, I'm ready to upgrade. Maybe that maybe that's the whole idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? That that's that's my take on the tele. Alright, so I'll see you guys soon. Maybe I'll get one of these and review it on the channel and let you guys know what I think once I actually have it in my hand.